Now let's talk about some public domain code which you'll use to solve linear programs. We'll use a function from Professor Levin Vanderbergi in the Department of Electrical Engineering at UCLA. It's called LP236A. For this course, WE7, I've renamed it to LPLV, LV for his name, and we'll actually call it from a function called LP Solver, which we'll distribute to solve standard problems. The code he's written, LP236A, is more sophisticated and can solve problems even more general than what we've introduced. But we'll focus just on the standard problem, and that's how LP Solver is written. The syntax is listed here. The input arguments are the column vector C, the array A, and the column vector B. C associated with the linear cost, A and B associated with the linear constraints. There's three output arguments, the optimal X, the derivatives of the optimal cost with respect to the elements in B, and a status variable. For typical problems, status will be returned as the character string optimal. That means that the optimization has been solved successfully and the minimum is some finite number, not negative infinity. Xop will contain the optimal value for the decision variable x as a column vector. And lambda, as I mentioned, has the derivatives of the optimal cost with respect to the elements of b. There's some other possible return values. If status equals infeasible, then the polytope defined by the system of linear inequalities is actually empty. There's actually no common points of intersection of the half spaces defined by the constraints in the ax less than or equal to b equation. Therefore, there's no values of the decision variables which satisfy all the constraints, and that's called an infeasible problem. If status equals unbounded, then it means the polytope defined by the system of linear inequalities is unbounded. There's some directions where x can grow arbitrarily large, and in fact, in that direction, c transpose x can be made arbitrarily negative. In this case, the minimum value is defined to be negative infinity. Let's try solving the simple two-variable, four-constraint problem in MATLAB using LP Solver. First, let's remember exactly what the problem was. On the left is the problem as originally stated, minimize 2x1 minus x2 subject to four linear constraints. Because this problem only involves two dimensions and four constraints, it was easy to graphically construct the polytope, and then based on the direction of the c vector, infer that the optimal vertex is at the location negative one zero, achieving a cost of negative two. How will we formulate this with LP Solver? Let's write it down in the standard form. There is the cost minimization, two times x1, minus 1 times x2, subject to four linear inequalities. Let me read the inequalities, multiplying out the rows of the 4 by 2 array times the 2 by 1 decision variable. Negative x1 minus x2 is less than 1. Negative x1 plus x2 is less than 1. 2x1 plus x2 is less than 2. And negative x2 is less than or equal to 1. That is the problem in standard form. How will we use the software? Let's define the A array, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, the B column vector, 1, 1, 2, 1, and the C column vector, 2, negative 1. At that point, it should simply involve a call to LP solver with the input arguments C, A, B. Let's try it. Here we are in MATLAB. Let's build the A array. Build the B vector and the C vector. Then make the call to LP solver. The right hand side arguments are C, A, B, and the left hand side arguments are the optimal X, the lambda vector, which is the derivative of the optimal cost with respect to the entries of B, and finally the status. Based on her graphical analysis, the optimal x should be the vertex negative 1, 0. Let's check that. Negative 1, 0. And the status should be optimal.